What drives me to succeed as a player is uh, the future for me. Living a professional soccer player's life is just un unbelievable to me. It's been a good year for me, you know, making the jump from the academy to Rebels 2. Um, it's definitely been hard, but you know, hard work is what makes you a real professional. As the end of season summer break arrives, both players and coaches have a chance to assess their progress in New York. The Red Bulls Academy have tested themselves and beaten some of their fiercest rivals in MLS. The challenge now is to guide those who have shown their talent up to the professional ranks. The season's been a great success, in my opinion. We've had a lot of exposure for our young top talents uh, to the professional level, which is invaluable. Um, we have a lot of players that have played up at the youth level and not only contributed, but really been some of the best players. Um, and really the end of the season was, for me, when you look at the benchmarks, you're playing against MLS opponents, was a great indicator indicator of where we are and where we're going. I think for me, the academy is, is we're evolving. Now we're bringing in some top talents from across the nation, um, looking into Red Bull 2, even looking at some international top talents that ultimately are gonna push our young players. You know, the, the, the better environment that they can play in, um, at the second team level is only going to help them grow and prepare them for the first team uh, level as well. Definitely a tough season. There were a lot of breaks in the season due to COVID and stuff like that. A lot of missed games. I'm very pleased with how I performed this year. I thought I came into the new team and like really worked my way through it and uh, got myself in a good spot. And I was pretty happy with the way I, I handled the season with a lot of ups and downs. Even if you make mistakes, just keep going. It's definitely been an interesting year. It's been an interesting year with all the COVID things going on. And it was in the administration, continue to find games for us, uh, high level games against older competition and uh, got us in with a consistent practice schedule and helped us up our level even in a year like this. So it's been a good year. Yeah, the process for Academy fitting into the bigger Red Bull picture is that it's very important to us. Um, our focus is always on developing young and hungry players, players that are malleable, players that are keen to learn and understand what is a very clear football identity for us. What Audi did for Major League Soccer is literally come in and say, tangibly, we want to help you fix the problem. Transportation, housing, education. You look at all three of those things, those are all three things that I've heard for the last 12 years from Major League Soccer personnel in the front offices, the business operations people are saying, we just need help here. We need help here to try to find the players. We can't get that player because he can't find a ride. That player wants to continue his education, but we don't have the resources to provide them. Now all of a sudden you have those. Audi's been a leader in that department. What really pleases me as the academy director is how prepared the players were. You know, they've gone in there and they've had the bravery and the courage to, to play and train like they belong. And they've shown that they do. I mean, Curtis Afori was phenomenal in the games they played. Um, young Sam Williams has come in, in in a really important position, defensive midfield. I think players like Austin Bromit, Nicholas Rabio have got their minutes. Um, and then certainly finally, Sergin Goma, another one. You know, for us, he's a, he's a massive, massive talent. So um, just really excited by the young crop coming through. I think we make um, the necessary steps with our young players. We have a very young group and we have a um, uh, talented player with a very, very, very good attitude. And right now I can see many players, they realize game time the last uh, few months and many, many young players, they take um, big responsibility in our games and have in the end, uh, I think, uh, very, very good moments um, uh, in the first team. And this is what we want. I think uh, we have a very close exchange with the academy, with the head of the academy, with coaches from the academy. I think this makes, uh, in the end, uh, the situation very, very easy to bring uh, players in the first team. When our youth player or other coaches or our supporters uh, uh, watch our game, that they realize this is typical Red Bull identity. Yeah? I think uh, that we can see on the on the field players they fight from the first until the last second and also they play football together against the ball and with the ball i remember playing for new york red bulls academy very fondly it, it holds a special place in my heart and my family's heart um, the long drives back and forth from training is what ultimately you know made me into the player i am today 
think signing my first professional contract was a unique moment for me because in the area that I grow up, there's not many uh, people that say that can say they've been a professional soccer player. So for me, um, I wanted to be a role model and show many other young kids that um, it's possible. Everyone has their own pace of, of how they're going to develop. You know, don't get too caught up on, oh, wow, this player is already playing with the first team or I'm not playing with the first team, what's going wrong? Maybe nothing's going wrong, but I think that everyone has to be patient and know that their time will come. For me to play in an MLS stadium, it's one of my dreams, you know, because working up my way through the academy, that's what the goal is. And me making the steps closer and closer, I feel like it's just this, this far away. Being at Red Bull Arena and seeing the atmosphere that they create makes me want to reach the first team even more. You know, seeing homegrowns like John Tolkien on the field and how the fans embrace him. You know, I really want to be out there on the field and be embraced by these fans. Any young player that comes to a stadium in a live game, it's a special feeling. Uh, ultimately, to watch people um, perform at the level you want to get to. And ultimately, this is the dream. This is the goal to walk out here one day. It excites me a lot to, you know, be here. Like, I kind of imagine myself playing in the same atmosphere that these guys are playing in. So, it's really, it's really cool. To the right now, Kyle Duncan. Duncan cuts to the middle from distance. Go from outside the box. Kyle Duncan doubles the lead. It's two nothing. That's a terrific strike for the man who scored three times last year. You have to applaud Major League Soccer for creating MLS Next, the new platform for these young players to find a place to play, but more so to get integrated within the system of those MLS clubs. They're putting all the players under one umbrella, uh, and that platform now is called MLS Next, and I think we'll be talking about it for the next 10 to 15 years. If you would ask me the question about what academy graduates I would be excited about, been one or two players with the New York Red Bulls Academy that has come out and done very well immediately, I think you look at San Jose, Cape Cow is another one, athletic. And then at FC Dallas, there's a really special player that all of a sudden in 2021 has shown himself in Ricardo Pepe. And I think this is a player that people are going to be talking about for a long, long time. It's amazing how quickly we're now starting to see some younger players make a big step. My next goals are obviously to move up and go to the first team, play in the stadiums. Uh, that would be awesome. That's, that's what I want to see for myself. I came in to the academy at 12 years old. And yeah, checking off the boxes for all the things that me personally that I wanted to that I wanted to accomplish. And I just feel like I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer to my goal of becoming a pro. No sooner has the season come to a close than another is around the corner. With the help of Audi, whose Goals Drive Progress Fund supports MLS Youth Academies with housing, transportation, and education, the Red Bulls are able to offer a platform for the next generation of talent to succeed. Who makes the ultimate step up remains to be seen, but the path is well trodden at this club and it's a question of when, not if, the Red Bulls Academy produces their next American star.